high representatives, dear ministers and state secretaries, dear experts and online participants from Europe and all around the world. I would like to wish you a warm welcome to the yearly European Schoolnet conference. For 23 years, European Schoolnet has contributed to the advancement of digital education in Europe and beyond and has become an important stakeholder in reshaping the quality of education. I can highlight two important visible results that have contributed significantly to raising the quality of learning since the launch of online learning in spring 2020. First, European Schoolnet conducted a major survey with the main aim to analyze teaching practices during these changed circumstances as well as provide some ideas for policy actions. Results were published in Perspectives issue on learning lessons, how to beat resilience. Second, using the results of webinars on various topics on learning the European Schoolnet, recently published a report where collective learning experiences have been represented. All actions have common enablers, effective school leadership, a strong connection of schools and their local communities, and support for those at risk of being left behind. Key lesson learned from the webinars was that each school and teacher is different and that there are no one-size-fits-all solutions. Each school had a different starting point in March 20, 2020 and co coped differently with the task of organizing online and blended learning. Therefore, they also have different needs and visions on how to move forward toward a better school progress. Digitalization and digital education in particular is one of the priorities of the Slovenian Presidency of the Council of the European Union. I'm glad to inform you that education ministers of the EU and the ASC Council last week adopted Council recommendation on blended learning approaches to achieve the goal of high quality and inclusive primary and secondary education. The document includes recommendations for integrated and effective learning and teaching in blended environments and in different approaches from teaching in person at school or at a distance and outdoors in stimulating safe and teaching rich learning environments. We believe that together with our main event conference Resetting Education and Training for the Digital Age, Slovenia opened up the space for discussion on the opportunities and challenges of digital education, as well as artificial intelligence among various stakeholders, from practitioners and researchers to decision makers. Emerging technologies, including artificial intelligence, play an increasingly important role in our lives. We firmly believe that artificial intelligence can contribute to teaching in a positive and effective way. But we also believe that education must play an important role in the future development of artificial intelligence for the sake of the needs of human beings, people and teachers. We see many areas that still need to be discussed in this regard. Legislation, ethics, equal opportunities, protection of personal data, securing and privacy in the digital world are the topics that we need to address. We also believe that cooperation and co-creation of all stakeholders is the key factor for the future educational process. Similarly, to the EU level, we started in spring 2020 to prepare the Slovenian Digital Education Action Plan 21 to 27, which we expect to be approved by the end of this year. Priority areas of our National Digital Education Action Plan include comprehensive national coordination of digital education, the definition of a theory and practice of digital education, curricular reform with the integration of digital competences at all levels, the initial and continuous training of teachers, and the upgrading of the overall support environment for the digitalization of education. Special attention will be given to the pedagogical digital competences of teachers. Finally, the schools will be invited to make their own digital strategy and consider it as one of the main school priorities. In addition, national projects are connected with the broad EU actions such as Code Week, 
e-twinning Erasmus Plus and Horizon. Also, we contribute to the progress of global education along with our International Research Center in Artificial Intelligence under the auspices of UNESCO, IRCAI, whose activities are expanding daily in the EU and beyond. Together with the promotion of digital competence frameworks and practical self-evaluation tools, we would like to maintain the holistic approach in the raising of school quality. Dear guests, dear and honorable participants, when European Schoolnet started, the first priority was to promote and disseminate digital education among teachers. This year, Slovenia became an active member of the EU and EUN, EUN again, and we will further connect Slovenian stakeholders and teachers with EUN activities. Thanks again to European Schoolnet for all its activities and results and for organizing the annual eminent conference. I wish all today's participants a successful 10th anniversary conference, many fruitful conversations and informative panels. Thank you very much for your attention. Stay well and healthy.